Hello everyone, Nidanoski here, and we are going to give Dismantle a try, a game that has the unique feature where eventually you can destroy everything. It's very survival based, um, somewhat simplistic, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun from what I've seen, but we're going to get right into trying it now. All right, doesn't look so bad. So upgrade damage to 12, and that's one thing with this. Is just about everything is destructible. We have a campsite. And we're going to upgrade our tools. Let's go ahead and light the fire. And we have a camp. We're going to load things up and then as we uh, deposit our goods, we're going to get the various level ups. We can see that we have a crowbar to start with, a backpack. Uh, we need scrap metal and wood. And then we need plant matter and scrap fabric for that. And that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and discover more hints. Strike and destroy objects, but we knew that. We knew that. I think that this is going to be one of those games where we just have a lot of fun. So pull up your chair, enjoy, and relax as we face the zombie apocalypse by destroying really everything. Let me go ahead and break this, then we'll investigate that. All right, so we got to upgrade our crowbar tool and break through the obstacles. We're going to find two scrap metals. Five wood and upgrade the crowbar at the camp. Let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, we can't destroy that, but I think this chair, if I can just click on the thing, is really what we need. So let's go ahead and store our materials. Oh, we have enough of everything. Let's sit at the camp and Upgrade our crowbar. What about this? We don't have anything we need for that, but that's okay. Oh, and apparently spacebar rolls. Can we destroy the table now? Yes, we can. And so we get some more wood. What about this? Oh, wonderful. I wonder if we can crit against things we wouldn't normally be able to break. All right. Oops. Okay, so it's going to strike at the area that we point to. What about this tire? Can't damage it with this tool, so we're going to need to find another tool. Okay, how do I find more tools? Can I construct them here? Alright, so we're going to, looks like, get three weapons. Or at least three weapons. Let's go break some more things. We haven't found any undead as of yet. Now, something really interesting. Oh, there's that plant matter we're going to need. I have to remember, don't, or click in the area I want to break, not just point my character. Okay. Quest completed. Claim the reward. And one of the interesting things in this is we're going to be able to eventually break walls. Uh, we're going to be able to break everything down. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any, you know, base building in this. But I know that the area is that we can work with is incredibly large. Okay, some more plant matter. Looks like there's a car out there we can work with. Oh, and the bags are full. So we'll be coming back in here. I'll definitely be wanting to get those backpack upgrades. Oh, and we're already halfway to level 2. That sounds fun. Okay.
break up these chairs. It looks like there's some sort of audio thing going on over there. So let's go ahead and destroy these things. Alright, and you know, I think that based on uh, referring to the authorities as the Crown, I think this is probably based somewhere in the United Kingdom. Is there any way to turn the map? Yes, there is. Okay. And our inventory is full. That's going to get real old real fast, but that's okay. That's why we're collecting this plant matter. You know, most games like this, it starts out that exact same way. It may not be any faster, but it at least gives the illusion of speed to be able to move through dashing. Oh, a heater. Oh, we need to upgrade again. I wonder. You know, we got some... Porcelain. Is it porcelain? I don't know. Where's the door to this? Is this the door? Oh. And back we go. Oh, here's some metal. Let's hurry up and break that. Oh, the door's right there. <laughs> That's okay. So this is definitely a new style of game. Uh, I, I've been doing a lot with a variety of games, but I saw this being played and I haven't had much time to do much. Oh, we can close and open the doors. This just looked really fun. All right. Let's go and search for that. Oh, a scrap of fabric. Very nice. I know we need that for our backpack. Along with these nature stuffs. Come on, I want to break you. There we go. Alright, so it looks like those, um, yeah, it looks like I can hold four to a stack, and I have five different stacks. And now, do I have what I need? Oh, I'm missing one scrap fabric. And then for that... I'll need some plastic, some wood, and some scrap metal. Okay. We're getting going. We're getting going. It might be a little bit slow, but I, I'm hoping to continue this for some time. And see exactly how far we're going to go. Because the world really is massive. And there are tech trees. Um, oh, we can cook, apparently. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be collecting so much plant matter. I think this, I think I'm ready to uh, move on. We'll go deliver one last time after we fill up on this plant matter. Can I destroy the sink by chance? No. That's okay. That is okay. All right, move on. And unload. Okay. Are we ready? I think we might be. Let's go ahead, open up. 
Ooh, an ex-human scrapper. All right. Okay. This is going to be ta or take some getting used to. That's okay. Oh, and we have our second scrap of fabric. No! Right back. Right back to where we need to go. All right. Now that we have that, I think we can upgrade our bag. Yes, yes we can. Okay, so next we need 14 scraps of fabric. Uh, we'll need wood, which I think is going to be competing with our crowbar. That's okay. Oh, and not only did we get an extra slot but now we can hold five things per bag that's great that's great okay can't destroy that how about the mailbox let's check out the car gave us some free scrap and she responded interesting I wonder if visiting the campsite caused her to respond. Okay, and more scraps of fabric. Yeah, that could be uh, something you could just do is, if it did cause her to respond, you could likely just sit there. Oh, that's that plastic we needed. Ah, uh, nope. You could likely just sit there and going back and forth and getting a good size backpack early. You know, kind of annoying now. Alright. There's a park bench. I think there was a save, or a save, I say save, a campfire the other way, but I kind of want to explore over here. Oh, we have another zombie. Oh, two of them. Okay. She had metal on her. You know, so far, they're decent to take out. I'm sure they'll get tougher. Sure, they'll get tougher. Oh. Some more metal. And we are level two. Okay, level up. Return to the campfire and invent new recipes that'll help you on your journey. Okay. What are we dealing with? Wooden fence. I mean, we're going to get our wood. It's a little bit slow going. I think as soon as we get this last piece of wood. Yeah, well, that last piece of wood. We're, we're good to go. I thought I saw a campfire this way. I want to come back for this quest. That one quest gave me a ton of experience relative to what I'm earning. Oh, there's another zombie scrapper there. And there's a quest here. So, lots to do. Alright. Everything gets stored. And we leveled up new skill. Inventor. So now we get to invent. We have a throwing knife here. And not enough of anything really to deal with that. Look at the tree we can have. And I don't even know if this is the full tree. Um, let's see. Amber pills. Standard Island State Issue Pills. Okay. Interesting. Here's our jeans and jersey. Blocks 10% of damage received. Cooking pot. Oh, we have enough to make our cooking pot.
Okay. And is that just... That's Those are those pills. Those are those trinkets. Um... I guess it's just a feature like a uh, backpack. Okay. Oh, and we can hold for a power attack. I wonder if I can break heavier items by holding it. Oh, and it looks like there might be a sound barrier right there. Okay, so that's not going to work. Uh, we can go ahead and keep going here. Metal. Hello? Oh, not the classic. Alright, find a map at the Link Tower, upgrade our backpack, and level up. I accept that quest. We just need to find a map at the Link Tower. We've upgraded our backpack. Not exactly sure where that is. Nope, not working. I like that I don't need to actually step in to our camp to start storing the items. Alright, more cloth. Good to see that. Good to see that. Oh, here she comes. Oh, we got hurt. We got hurt. Should probably look and see if there's an option to save. Um, I wonder if it auto saves. Go to system, and based on what I'm see seeing with the save and exit option, probably does. Get more cloth. Not much more to do here. Um, lots of overgrown. Lots and lots of overgrown items. Oh, and we got a thousand XP from that. Nice. Alright, what's over here? Another tomato, and we can actually cook. Tomato soup. Okay. Delicious steaming soup made of overgrown. We get five. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Plus five max HP, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, times three. There's that plastic, some more plant material. I think I'll keep going through the plant material because we have that chest right outside. Let's keep chopping it down. Looks like we'll need to upgrade quite a bit. And we are at our max. Is this going to give us metal? I think it will. Oh, metal and cloth. Very nice. And... Let's tiptoe around. Is she going to see us? And again, we get two of them coming. Alright, and as we were breaking those down we were alerting and they're fully alerted 
At least this one is. All right, there we go. Let's keep breaking it down. We got some more cloth. How about that? Ooh. And yes, we are alerting this zombie back here. That's okay. There we go. It looks like there's something over here. And we only have the one tomato. But we have something to search for here. And here. Okay. We have some more metal over here. You know, we are building up that plastic store. Maybe not as fast as I'd like, but let's go check how much more we need in order to actually upgrade. Crafting restores health. Let's see. However, it appears to do so for most of the monsters as well. So, it uh, looks like I can make uh, our throwing weapon. I'm not so sure I want to do that. Uh, we only need one more plastic, three more wood, and three more scrap metal. And I think I would rather have a better crowbar. Yep, there they are. I seem to do more damage as, with a surprise attack. Alright, there we go. Okay, there's the plastic that we need. And maybe it would be better to go, or to get a throwing knife. But for now, I think it's pretty crucial to have an upgraded crowbar. What is here? All right, and that Let's see. Reach XP level 5. We need more metal. I wonder if she'll grant us metal. Oh. I mean, there's metal, but I'm almost dead. Yeah, it looks like I may be able to only take um, three hits from a normal enemy. Okay. We have our three metal, we have our three wood, and we have our one plastic. This should be enough, if I remember correctly, to upgrade it. And then we can test out our uh, upgraded crowbar. Not invent, we want to upgrade. What's that going to do? Adds one new ingredient slot. Okay. Alright, hold it down. And here we're going to need more wood and more scrap fabric, but we're basically there. New slot to seven, more space per slot. Alright, and we have the opportunity to go test out our crowbar. All right, yeah, there's a massive, ah! There's a massive bonus for doing sneak damage. Okay. Let's keep it going, and we're actually going to leave our area. Yes, come towards me. Okay, some plastic. Good to see. Good to see. We should be able to tear these down pretty quickly. Get the metal we need. I 
wonder if there's a way to make it more efficient. As in, we grab more thi or more material. Maybe we'll we're gonna see what level three holds for us soon. Okay, and it looks like yep. All right, that one was surprisingly nice to take down. Okay, we're taking down tables. Very nice. What about this? No. How about the fence? Yes. We can take down the white picket fence, and that means we have a ready source of wood right here. Wooden plant, and it's nice to see that I'm now destroying both. I imagine once I'm up to destroying a wall. Okay, yes, yes, I'll go turn in. That way we can start building up for our backpack. Once we start destroying our wall, let's see, dog's still not there, or doge, we'll be able to uh, double down on destroying multiple things at once. Very nice. Can we destroy this pole by chance? Nope. And probably not the fire hydrant either. All right, let's, you know, stop by the camp. Okay, what are we missing here? Just the scrap metal. And it looks like it's going to be 100% throwable weapon damage against monsters. Yeah, this is looking like we are getting really towards the beginning of something great. Can I destroy that now? No. Up to 24. So let's get us our metal. Ooh. Oh, she got a hidden. There we go. Is this the area we came from? I think it might be. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just need to find that tower, and then oh, it looks like we have a barricade. Ooh, so this is not the place to go. Unless we want to whack at some zombies. Okay, that's a bit easy. I say easy, and, you know, probably get killed right away. Um, hold down. Okay, what is this? Am I going to be able to open it? We need a lockpick. We are so close to level 3. So very close. I don't know why, but I think this is making me want to play uh, State of Decay a little bit. It'll be fun. We just need one more piece of wood. And we'll be able to upgrade our backpack. We are now level 3. I want to get one more piece of wood before we turn in, because what I'm going to do... Oh. 
Maybe not the wisest to be doing it here. I want to go upgrade our backpack. And I want to level up. Maybe leveling up will get us some additional uh, inventions. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh. Okay, so 10% throwable weapon. Ooh. That might be very powerful. These types of skills that help you in the future levels are usually very good early on. The earlier you can get them, the better. And I, I think I'm liking them better than the max HP. So, yeah, let's go with multi-talented. And then we have craftables. Baseball cap. Our basic lockpick uh, requires experience level 11, bag of blood. Just need plastics for that. Um, okay. And what did we use our scrap metal? Oh no, it's our backpack that we're going to upgrade. So let's go ahead and get that upgrading. And let me know if this is a game you want to see more of. I've enjoyed it so far and I think I'm going to do at least a few more episodes. But if you want a complete series on this, let me know. In the meantime, I am Nidanoski and as always, have fun. Mm -hmm.